I am Anil Kumar sharing with you solution of a question from previous IIT JE test paper. The question here is 5 tan square x minus cos square x is equal to 2 cos 2x plus 9. Find the value of cos 4x. Four choices are given to you 2 by 9, minus 7 over 9, minus 3 over 5, and 1 over 3. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now the strategy here is to understand that cos of 2x can be related with cos square x, right? And similarly, cos of 4x can be related with cos square 2x. So we could find cos 4x by writing all these terms in terms of cosine. Now we can begin by writing tan square x as secant square x minus 1 and then we'll solve the equation in terms of cos square x. So let's begin by writing the left hand side as 5 times tan square x can be written as secant square x minus 1. We have cos square x here minus cos square x equals 2 now, cos 2x can be written as 2 cos square x minus 1, right? So it becomes 2 times 2 cos square x, that's a double angle formula, minus 1 plus 9. Now let's expand and simplify. Secant square x can be written as 1 over cos x. So, so what we can do now here is, we'll write this as 1 over cos square x. So secant is 1 over cos square x minus 1 minus cos square x equals to, let's open this, we have 4 cos square x minus 2 plus 9. Now taking all, we can multiply by cos square x both the sides, correct? We can do that. We can just multiply by cos square x on both the sides. Uh, then, or, or let's take common denominator first. Okay, let's take common denominator first. So we'll take common denominator of cos square x. We get 1 minus cos square x minus cos to the power of 4x equals to 4 cos to the power of 2, and that is plus 7. <clears throat> now, we can do a substitution also. Let us write cos square x as equal to y. So let cos square x be something, right? Let's say equals to p, for example. Then we'll get a quadratic equation in p, right? So we have cos 4x, it becomes square. We'll cross multiply. So we could write this as 5, let's open the bracket. 5 times 1 is 5 minus 5p minus 5p square. So cos to the power of 4 becomes p square since cos square x is p. Now we are taking this to the right side. So equals to 4 times that becomes p square plus 7p, right? So I hope this step is clear. We have written cos square x as p, right? So this is p that is also p when you multiply 4p square 7p, right? So here you have a quadratic equation in P. Bringing all the terms to the right side, we get 0 equals to, we have 4P squared plus 5P squared plus 7P plus 5P minus 5, correct? Or 0 equals to 9P squared, 5 plus 7 is 12 minus 5. Now we are looking for a product of 45 and sum of 12. So 15 and 3 can work, right? Yes. So we will write this as 9p square plus 15p. That should be positive uh, and minus 3p. That gives us 12p minus 5. Now let's factor we can take 3p square, 3p common. So we get 3p plus 
5 and here minus p plus 5 and that gives you 0 equals to 3p plus 5 times 3p minus 1. <coughs> Now this quadratic equation gives us two solutions. One of them is from here, which is p equals to minus 5 over 3. The other one is p equals to 1 over 3. Now what is p? p is square of cosine. So p is always greater than, is positive, right? It's non-negative, right? So it is greater than uh, equal to 0 and less than equal to 1, right? So it is positive. Let me write this as positive. And therefore, p equals to minus 5 over 3 is not valid, right? So this is not valid. However, that is the valid answer, right? So we can say that we do have a solution for cos square x, which is equals to p, as 1 over 3. Correct? So cos square x is 1 over 3. Now we can find what cos 2x is. right? So, so cos 2x which is 2 cos square x minus 1 is 2 times cos square x is 1 over 3 minus 1 and that is uh, 2 minus 3 over 3 or minus 1 over 3. Correct? So that is cos 2x. We want to find the value of cos 4x. So cos 4x will be equals to 2 times cos squared 2x minus 1. Correct? Now we know what cos 2x is, which is minus 1 over 3. So we can write this as 2 times minus 1 over 3 whole square minus 1. Right? So that gives you the value. Let me take it on this side and calculate. So we get cos 4x as equal to, that is positive, right? So it is 2 over 9 minus 1, which is 2 minus 9 over 9 or minus 7 over 9. So the right value for cos 4x is minus 7 over 9. Correct? So that is how we can actually solve this particular question. So the identity which we basically used is this one. Double angle formula which we used twice to find the value of cos 4x <coughs> in this particular case. So I hope you find this solution meaningful. Feel free to write your comments, share your views, and if you like and subscribe, that'll be good. Thank you and all the best.